Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this special program by Technobase. And uh, today we are going to talk about the success story of Indian Rubber Institute, uh, PGDIRI program. I think many of you know Indian Rubber Institute is one of the premier institute uh, offering the services for the rubber technologists in India. And they offer a training programs and a lot of educational activities. Uh, they are offering a uh, yearly PGDRI program. It's a PG diploma program, uh, which is very useful for the people in the industry as well as the students as well. But today we have a guest. Uh, his name is Mr. Sri Krishna Natarajan. He's a 60 years old. He finished uh, PGDRI in 2021. Uh, so we want to know about his story. At the age of 60, with 40 plus years experience, um, you know, in the rubber tire industry, he still completed a, a PG diploma program in uh, rubber technology. So let's invite uh, Mr. Sri Krishnan Natarajan to come on board and talk about his journey, why he finished, what is important PG DRA for him. Mr. Sri Krishnan, welcome to the program. Good evening, Mr. Peram. Sri Krishnan here. Nice to see you on the web and right. uh, interact with uh, many participants, the future robot technologists. So, Great. So, um, so let's get started about our discussion today, our conversation. It's pretty much informal. So, you know, you are 60 years old. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I can see the white hair, almost in you know, the lost hair and, you know, kind of, you still study the diploma program at the age of uh, 60. Why? Uh, see, right from day one, I was very passionate about the subject. And uh, I started my career like with MRF way back in 1983. Soon after my graduation, I was uh, jo supposed to join a BTEC program. Uh, which I very narrowly missed from that time onwards it was there in the bottom of my heart that I should do uh, uh, a professional uh, you know degree uh, in rubber technology but due to various reasons I could not uh, you know do a proper course but I was throughout working in the rubber line so I worked for four years in the corporate technical uh, in the MRF in Thiruvathyur under uh, big doyens of the rubber industry, tire industry, Mr. Zakaria George okay. and Mr. Nice. Meganathan, Mr. Shivraman. So my career started with the lab, the physical lab. So where I had hands-on experience in testing of uh, physical properties and operating equipments. So that is how my passion slowly built up. But then after some time, I was very much attracted to the shop floor. So somehow I thought a change of department may not be possible there. I said, let me venture on to the outside world. So I applied for an offer in uh, JK in Kankroli. So I was a hardcore South Indian and I moved all the way to Rajasthan. Okay. okay. You can imagine I didn't know Hindi and, uh, and I had a tough time with all numbers and stock ports being said in Hindi and there was a lot of, <laughs> lot of uh, plus and minus situations, but uh, I took it as a challenge Very and uh, I ensured that, uh, you know, I learned the numbers and, uh, you know, saw to it that I was able to at least pick up a working knowledge of Hindi. So that is how my career in Kangroli was. And of course, I started working outside to add to it the first winter in North then ah. i was i was on official tour in a hilly area and uh, that was my first winter also so okay. very little knowledge of hindi and north and first winter so all were kind of uh, challenging situations so then on uh, the same company they set up a plant there in uh, gwalior in banmore so there i worked for about 15 years okay so totally about 20 years in that company and very interestingly, the last uh, four years, I had exposure to work in a outsourcing activity. So thanks to that organization and the seniors there, uh, I had to go to China. Mm -hmm. So I worked in China for about four years and it was outsourcing activity. So 
there are again new opportunities and new challenges learning the chinese language interacting with the people i had malaysians to trans translate for me like so it was a kind of a big circle uh, like you know the the person who speaks cantonese translates it to the mandarin person the mandarin person then translate to in english to me and vice versa so every step was a challenge so after that activity then i uh, came to uh, bkt so after about 20 years in that company so i joined bkt in 2006 so 2006 uh, bkt again it's a new set of learning because i was earlier in truck tires passenger and uh, lcb tires and uh, bkt gave me exposure to new product lines and uh, new opportunities and new learnings so that was a big challenge to know that entire itself there are so many things so mm -hmm. thanks to bkt which supported me in you know pursuing this course in fact originally i was made in charge of developing two or three junior colleagues for uh, studying the pgdira and i was supposed to be the guide but as i was guiding them i started getting interest in uh, doing the course and uh, then the ira faculty also said mr krishnan you are attending the classes any case why don't you give the exam it will not be tough for you with your experience you will be able to easily clear it so i said okay let me give it a try so hesitatingly i paid the fees for the exam uh, at a later date only first mm -hmm. i paid fees only for that and to be very frank, it was the RSDC certificate, which I will get after a viva. So I thought by okay. experience, I will be able to answer. There is no exam there. So, so I was thinking that way, that after so many years, you know, completely 25, 30 years of not going into any academics, you don't even have writing practice because it is all mobile today. <laughs> right, right. Uh, only texting. So I started writing also when educating. I used to explain to my junior colleagues on the board yeah. all the formulations. So I was guiding them also. So it was a it's a very good learning process. Mm -hmm. So that was the real challenge that I came to know about new products in the course mm -hmm. itself and uh, different type of uh, products. You know, like tire industry normally it's like a frog in the well kind of a thing. We think that is what is rubber all about, but there is lot of non-tire products like yeah. you have foam you have conveyor belt you have hose pipe so these were all new areas of uh, interest and uh, knowledge so mm -hmm. that is what really you know motivated me to pursue this course mm -hmm. and uh, i would say that uh, you know the entire ira faculty they were so very dedicated the every sunday classes and uh, they were clearing the doubts they were going in depth and I don't think that any college, the live colleges that are there today will be really doing this much of dedicated effort, like how they are doing. And we were able to interact with them post classes also. We used to check the, you know, we had a group form. We used to WhatsApp the questions and they used to respond. Super. So we, we had Mr. Dr. Samar Bandhubhatiya, Dr. Jagasya, Dr. Vagani, Dr. Rupa, right, Dr. Mukhopadhyay himself being yeah. such a senior and busy person, devoting so much time, sharing his immense knowledge. So it was all a great experience. And maybe there are many other faculty whom I have not named, but they have exposed us to a very, very big horizon of the, of the rubber technology world. Mm -hmm. So thanks to IRI for that. So it was really a, a very, very interesting, uh, challenging activity for me. Super. So you, can you talk a little bit of your expertise? What you, you know, you work in the tire industry, you mentioned about yeah. JK, okay. Uh, it's interesting to know that you had, a, you know, from non-Hindi non area to Hindi area and you, yeah. okay, you survived. I had similar experience. I was from Andhra and moved to the Rajasthan. Well, you know, uh, and it's a different different lineup at the time, but um, but it's always a nice uh, a journey when you go into totally outside your comfort zone. You know that that makes yes. you stronger. That makes you the learning. So can you talk about your um, you know your 
uh, expert is what are you really good at you know your 40 years experience and i think it's 39 to 50, 40 years experience uh, uh to put it in one line i am like a jack of all trades master of none because <laughs> okay. why because i worked in the laboratory i started my career with testing and then i moved on to process i worked in mixing okay then from mixing i moved on to tire building and tire curing areas then problem solving is my forte okay. curing and curing defects and uh, developing new tires doing something innovative mm -hmm. so you know that time uh, whatever was the market requirement so like uh, i used to try to address those issues and develop products which were not there in the line so mm -hmm. That is a challenge and uh, i am a certified uh, cii auditor for okay. quality system yeah okay. and uh, and i i really like to do audits so and it is a very interesting thing because there are a lot of learnings not only being an auditor but also being an auditee mm -hmm. also i have learned a lot from the many auditors who come to our plants mm -hmm. so so, that is okay. what is what is your current role at uh, pkt pkt i had the technical there looking after the various uh, activities of the plant and uh, process activities it is mostly problem solving day to day supporting the production team and the plant and ensure that it is smooth running mm -hmm. new product development so raw materials testing and approval so I have a big team of about 60 people, uh, technical and QA put together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think the BKT supports uh, skill development on a regular basis, right? I think yeah. uh, they join Technobis programs as well. I think you personally travel to Bangkok and Thailand and, and, and uh, could join a couple of programs. Yes. And I have seen I have seen some of your colleagues join to even the Technobis programs in India. So can you talk about the BKT's, um, you know, philosophy on the skill development house, you know, so that other people, other companies also take it as a good practice uh, to work on the skill development. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank Mr. Vaidya for, uh, you know, seeding this thought that uh, you people must continuously learn. And uh, he did not discourage me when I said, sir, I am uh, going to appear for the PGDI RI. So he did not react in a negative way. He said, oh, Krishnan, you are 60 and you want to right. Uh, right. So it was so very positive of him. And he said, OK, no problem. So you can write the exam along with the other people. So he showed that confidence and uh, he motivated all, all of us. And he said learning is a continuous process. He always believes in that. And he also says that as a technical man, you should go this go and see the things yourselves personally if there is a process issue don't believe in you know what people say about the problem you yourself go and see so this is a major learning which i have taken from him go and have a look at the problem get a feel of it you know try to analyze all the possibilities so and as an organization pkt is people oriented and they give a lot of focus on training so this time about 15 candidates have been sponsored across pkt for this program so from my plant alone i have got five people uh, appearing for that and they are all sponsored candidates mm -hmm. so and, and they don't have to pay the fees and all that so it is only to encourage uh, people gaining knowledge relevant to the industry and relevant to the process so that way the organization is very supportive and uh, and there is a you know a a philosophy of continuous improvement as yeah. far as uh, bkt is concerned because we as a uh, organization have to be very dynamic with the changing market scenario so that is how we have been able to you know grow so big in the international tire market yeah no, so that is a philosophy yeah, it's good you know that's a thanks to the bkt you know to believe in this because that is a requirement uh, to sustain in the business and you know, continuous training educating them educating all the manpower yeah 
um kind of touch a little bit on your you know you mentioned you went to china okay other than the language okay that is everywhere when you go to the new place is always you go to even in india you know we have many states you go to, each state is a different way of living um what else you learn best practices you learn from the china experience i think we, we take the good side of it you know what 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 else we can learn from chinese you know in terms of the uh, manufacturing and some of the practices can you share some insights about it your experience in other than the language okay yeah see as far as uh, the chinese uh, is concerned culturally they value time yeah. it is there in their blood hmm. okay like even if he is a he is a, a a person who is a driver in fact uh, we don't call him a driver a navigator so he used to be on time hmm. and uh, at the hotel five minutes ten minutes before so hmm. he would tell us uh, uh, you know that uh, you are two minutes late so <laughs> that is the kind of uh, uh, time punctuality they follow and yeah. if chance i have seen in the pl their plant that if the workmen have by chance have reached the punching machine uh, in the evening after finishing their duty if there's outgoing time is six o'clock and if the time is 5 55 they will wait for five minutes for it to be six and then only they will go so no way you know they will say that no it's only one minute so today we will go who's going to ask so that is not there so they value time that is number one thing the number two thing is everybody works there it is the men the women so there are more opportunities for women there and in any plant there are up to 50 to 60 percent ladies are employed so even tire builders i've seen who are ladies you have people working in different process areas who are ladies who do the hard work and uh, that way the men are more fun loving that is my uh, understanding and uh, the chinese women put a lot of effort to learn the things you can invariably see they are in the export sections they learn the language they can speak very good english coordinate with the customers and you know like they are very very uh, i would say coming forward so that is the best part and when you say something they are able to understand and adapt it in their process and technology. You don't have to give them any uh, written down document or anything. You explain to them on the board, then that is done. Mm, so that good. is their grasping power. And they can implement these things very fast. Mm. And they are so quick to implement the things. So even before you could know, they have already implemented it. That is how it is. Super. Very good advice. Time management. Now, chelega, chelega, and it doesn't work. Yeah. So it's yeah. Uh, it, on time. But the punctuality makes a difference, definitely. Yeah. And also, yes. uh, the women, I think, and uh, uh, they are more productive in many places. I can say, you know, in 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 delivering a job compared to the guys. Uh, yeah. But I'm sure we also have the guys also have their own advantages. Okay, or more skills. Okay, but it's definitely you know uh, useful if women get more you know opportunities at the same time they will be part of the uh, sustainability of the industry by being more efficient and uh, at the same time the whole environment itself you know so yeah okay get back to the pgdi right okay and yeah. you know i think your boss mr vaidya first of all uh, i'm from techno base side i thank him and i appreciate him to you know encouraging all the you know 15 some people are joining this uh, joined uh, pgdi right um what th what new things you gain out of this pgdi program it's basically the knowledge that we gather you are able to have a different perspective about you know like earlier we used to like spec and actual that kind of a thing but now you are able to relate like you are able to when you have learned the subject in depth like you would be able to relate 
and analyze and say oh you this is because of this this is what we learned there very simple example i will tell you when you mill a sample on a two roll mill there is uh, something called a grain direction which many people don't know and if you mold the tensile pad uh, against the grain direction you won't get the right properties right so there are small small things like this like you know polymer polymer chain orientation okay so manufacture of various uh, products like latex and so many other products and even the day to day testing parameters like mooney viscosity very commonly used uh, uh, parameter in the tire industry like how you are able to relate the mooney viscosity high low to the various process in calendaring and extrusion okay so these are all some things where you are able to correlate once you have acquired a little bit of in depth knowledge otherwise you would just be saying oh this is high this is low this is reject this is okay so that is more of a mechanical thing so now you are able to appreciate that oh this is the technology behind this right so that is the advantage of having a, a proper course uh, which is very structured and you know have faculty from that line uh, like if it is a, a person giving lecture on latex then he is a person who is worked in the latex field for so many years it is not that he is preparing some book and he is coming and making a powerpoint right so like that uh, uh, you know people who have worked in uh, say molding area okay so they are the people who are coming and get, giving lecture on molding right so like that there are different process areas where people are uh, sharing their knowledge it is the hardcore working knowledge yeah that's right, right. that's right yeah and um, of course you know not everything is new to you okay it's something you already know i think refreshing the knowledge the knowledge you already yeah. gained is also very useful also right useful. can you talk about yes. yeah so um so i think some of the some of the people yeah i know already i know all this stuff you know i've seen this yeah. i've seen that you know so what you say to them yeah see i think uh, they are in a, uh, they are in a very uh, i would say a fool's paradise if they are going to say that uh, i know everything right ah, this i know so the problem is when you get into that mode of this thing i know you are blocking the uh you know the inflow of uh, any input so and that is why you know there are some people who don't grow because of this attitude that they always think that they know everything so and only experience may not give you that uh, uh you know platform to say that yes you know everything there is always something to learn so even maybe uh, five years down the line there will always be new things to learn so i think one has to have that uh, option open and a learning attitude so like you know uh, they used to say you be a, a, a living vibrant organism so that is a beautiful phrase uh, used by one of our senior colleagues and uh, so one has to be a living vibrant organism so and uh, that is that way you keep yourself always uh, you know open for uh, seeking information gaining knowledge right so that's that is the right attitude to go about it so definitely it was refreshing for me and the entire course was really very refreshing and it was a good experience the challenge of going to an exam hall after so many years writing <laughs> exam and uh, you have a hall ticket we call a hall ticket right there, yes, there is a, some yes. kind of sleep yeah you had entered before you go to your seat number yes. i guess <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you have I, it right I, now in front of it yeah yeah i have it okay <laughs> i didn't know you will ask but but i still have it <laughs> super <laughs> can you show it properly yeah okay good good man good <laughs> uh, wow, so this, this definitely kindled very fond memories of yeah, my definitely. school and college days yes. so and normally the the past you always have happy moments in the past which is good yes. to recall 
right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Super, super. I know you are experienced. I also want to take your time to you know utilize this opportunity to ask you. Um, you've seen whole your life, working life is in the tire industry. Uh, so you have seen a um, couple of plants, major manufacturers. Um, if I ask you to give advice to the tire technologists or tire operators, okay, hey, don't do this. I won't look at a, or do this way, not do this way. What kind of common mistakes people do, how it is affecting the, you know, um, in terms of the overall performance of the company, you know. So can you can you give some? I know it's a very broad question, but based on your experience, uh, uh, do's and don'ts for the tire op tire industry professionals or tire operators. Yeah, please. Uh, basically, in the Indian context, normally safety is something which is uh, not taken very seriously. Yeah. Uh, so there are occasions where safety is neglected. Okay. So as our organization, we are very much focused about this activity and we ensure that the safety of our uh, operators and the welfare is the prime and uh, most uh, important aspect then comes quality so first it is safety then it is quality then it is productivity so that should be the order and at the operator level many a times he is not informed about the basic requirements hmm. So what is it that he is supposed to do? Many a times the instructions are given, but many a times why it should be done? Why something should be done? Why some cementing activity has to be done? Why something has to be applied in center? Why you should ensure a step off, right? So these are all things which normally people don't explain to the operators. So we just give instructions, deploy them in the missionary, and then we say, okay, tum tire bano. So that is the kind of uh, uh, a thing. But uh, here at BKT, uh, we are very focused that way. We orient them into a proper training program for about a month or so, right? Even the staff who come. So if they are from the tire industry, then there is a separate set of training program. And if they are from the non-tire industry, then we have a separate set of training program. So like that. So I think these are some basics which uh, one should follow. So okay. training is very, very important. So give them the necessary inputs before you ask them to do the work. Empower them, empower them to say, yeah. no, why? Them. Then, yeah. You know, and the logic behind it or rational behind the yeah. work so that they also feel that they are part of the system rather than just operating you know, start and stop and, and okay, moving yeah. from one end to yeah. other end, you know, so yeah. yeah. Good. Um, okay, finally, I'm going to ask you, you know, what is the message uh, for the people who are still thinking of, you know, doing a PGDRI program? Um, you know, how do you motivate them? So can you give a final message to the, the all the rubber industry or tire industry professionals, please? Yeah. Uh, one thing uh, I would like to uh, share with all of you is that it is not a Himalayan task. So one can easily do it if if they are, first of all, determined. I had my low moments. I thought, yes, I may not be able to read all the chapters and all that. But I think if you are focused and practice, and uh, if we go through the question papers of the previous years and practice, with the answers i think uh, any person who's putting an honest effort will be able to clear it so i think that is really uh, very important and people who are thinking whether i should do it or not i would advise them definitely you can go totally 200 percent in enrolling themselves for the pgdiri and you would not get such dedicated staff so even though it is an online course and and uh, you know it is uh, every sunday the kind of dedication and the kind of patience they have i don't think regular colleges will share that much so it is only that one period of one hour and they are going to walk off so but here it is not like that they are constantly in touch with you 
so the whatsapp group there are people who have like people like sambulal agarwal okay mr samar bandopadhyay vasudev rao all these people have been constantly in touch with the entire group of about 100 or people and clarifying the doubts so and uh, at odd times also they have responded so this is how it should be done this is how it should be done so there are a lot of people like mr said mustak who have worked in back end right and uh, they are the people backstage who have put in a lot of effort day in day out i think so i think really a very very uh, appreciable effort by iri and more and more people should from the tire industry should come come forward and also from the rubber industry other rubber industries to come forward and uh, you know participate wholeheartedly and appear for the exams and come out with flying colors so, so that is my wish to all of them thanks okay. thank you very much thank you very much uh, sri krishnan first congratulations for your finishing the pgdri you have now your uh, the job is done for you uh, that you have a degree now on the PG in the rubber technology from the indian rubber institute so um, thank you very much uh, for sharing your story and your insights about your work at the same time also giving advice to the the people who are still thinking whether they do it or not do it you know i think your story is a, a great inspiration for the people um for the rubber and both the rubber and tire industry professionals to come forward and participate in the pgdri program and uh, so lead to the all the instructors you know they put their lot of effort uh, you know practical experience at the same time connecting with applied theory which is required and relevant and uh, for the up, up, upgrading the skills of the professional so iri team thanks to you all okay so that's the story of um, sri krishna nataraj thank you very much thank you, the, thank you very much at the 60 years war he put you know finally made it happen okay so good luck to you sir continue to learn at the same time pass on whatever learning uh, you gain from out of this program or your work to the, your younger generations or you know in the in the company so that uh, the knowledge you know pass on to the uh, next generation people and which is required for the industry to sustain okay yeah, thank you very I much be, i will be regularly reviewing with my team members who are already appearing for the exam so okay. i will give them the necessary push and motivation so, so i will do i've committed myself to that Thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Okay, I think um, if you are, I think Sri Krishna made us to inspired already, and like now I'm sure that you, it's a time to uh, send an email to IRI team. Okay, guys, to register for the next uh, session of the PGDRI. Thank you for now. Bye bye.